Hey guys, Stealth here. I'm going to be doing a few tutorials on how to design things in From the Depths. And this will be the first, how to design your hull. Now, what I was struggling with initially was how to get a good hull design going. Because initially, my ships just looked like this. I would throw on a couple of these beams. And then I said, hey, look, um, I have a hull. And yes, this works. You do get your, let's say, your hydrodynamics in order, but it doesn't really look that nice, does it? It just looks like a very, very sharp end of a ship, um, something like a spear. And the thing that you are going to be losing out on is a bit of hydrodynamics in the lower sections of the ship, or the lower sections of your bow. So, in order to have a go, we're going to slightly redesign this section of the ship. Now, what I usually start out with is where do I want the sides of my ship to start? So, let's say that we're going to make this ship slightly bigger. And this is going to be the broadest part of the ship. So, what I want to do now is start to make this thing smaller. So, we're going to go with one of those downsloped beams. Then you can go with another one. But then again, we run into that same issue. It's not going to be looking that pretty. So let's say that this is the bottom of the ship. I usually start out at the bow, the ultimate start. This is um, where you're going to decide how sharp you want your bow to be. Because you could go with these, which is the inverted triangle corner 4 meter. And this will give you a really, really large bow. It's going to be a very, very long item. If that's not what you want, then make sure you go with some of these smaller things. This will give you a very short and very sharp bow, which is going to expand quickly, but it might not be what you're looking for. So as far as design choices go, what I usually do is go between three and four. And you start out with the inverted triangle corner. So I'm going to set it up one there. And then you move back one block, make sure it's one wider than the previous, and you add another one. I'm going to copy this one, and again, throw in another one. And you can see that we're starting to get this outline of a, well, a decent bow. It's not fantastic, but it works. Although we still have these, well, these expanses in here. Those you fill up with a triangle corner, four meters. Don't fill those up with 3 meters because it's going to be looking slightly off, as you can see. Now you want to have the 4 meter triangles. One there, one there, and one there. And now you're actually starting to get this nice shape that's going to cut through the water. Then again, we still have something along the bow. We still want to make the bow as sharp as possible. And what I usually do for that is just throw on another one so that you have this very, very sharp angle. Then you take the downward slope 4 meters, you turn that into the right position, you fill up this block, and there's our bow. It's very, very sharp. Now you can expand this as much as you like. You can say, well, this is enough. I want to just keep it here. I don't need any more depth on my ship. I don't need a larger beam, as they say. I don't need the ship to ride any lower. But maybe you've been designing your ship on top of this already, and you find that it just it doesn't really float that well. It sits a little low in the water. What you then do is take back those 4 meter triangles and you again start building out on the bottom. Then you go back to the inverted triangle corner and you just throw those on at the bottom. And again, make sure that you also top out the lower section of the ship. So this should be a standard beam. This needs to be a downward slope. Otherwise, you're going to be looking at this, well, this square here, which isn't a terrible idea, by the way. Let's say that you wanted to quickly slow down. What you could do is throw in a small propeller. And that way you can keep the ship slowing, or you can keep the ship to slow down very, very quickly. But in this case, I want the bow to be fast and sharp. So again, throw in another one of those. And again, you can expand this as much as you like. Let's just put mirror mode back on. One there. One over there. You're going to need to continue to have the beams go down. Inverted triangle. Uh, make sure it's the right way around. There we go. 
And now you're getting this, let's say this triangle bow. And this is what I usually consider to be a good ship. Or at least it looks better than that arrowhead that I was making initially. Now what you do need to be aware of is that if you start to stack too much weight on the bow, so let's say that you're going to be building, I don't know, a turret somewhere in the front of the ship, then it is going to start to get a bit heavy and it might start to dip down here where I have the beam right now. And that will mean that your ship could start to tilt forward. So if you have a very, very sharp bow, that will give you a lot of hydrodynamics, but it will also mean that you need to balance out your ship. So you, maybe need, you may need to put a couple of uh, lead blocks, which are usually used for laying a keel. You need to put those over there and try to keep the center of mass a bit further back and a bit further down. And this is pretty much it. This is how I design my bows. Now, again, we can also decide to make this thing a bit sharper. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing now. The trick here is to go with all the same size blocks because mixing these with these with the downward slope or the, the, the two meter beams doesn't really work. So starting out at the bow then you want to have a two meter beam and another two meter diagonal, uh, sorry, a two meter inverted triangle corner. We're going to throw these on and by the way if you have this edge over here you see this leading line? You can then go with a diagonal cut, get it oriented the right way, and there you go. That could be the bottom end of your ship, the bottom part of it. And again, you can make this thing as sharp or as short as you like. If you do it like this, the result will be that your ship has a very, very sharp bow, which means that you don't need to be focusing as much on weight distribution in the rear of the ship, or at least that's been my experience. Because now the bow is still pretty sharp and you can make it this way so that you don't have to be focusing on building lead blocks at the rear and you can just throw in a turret in the front. This is how you do it. Now this is not uh, the only way to do it. There are multiple ways of building a good bow or a good hull shape but I found this to really look like a design that I would enjoy using. So make sure that you use these inverted triangle corners and the triangle corners. Those will give you that sh nice and sharp edge and of course you can continue to build that out upwards and these will round it off so you have a really really sharp triangle bow. So, very, very quick tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you're designing in from the depths and how you can use stuff like this in your designs. What kind of hull do you design? What kind of um, blocks do you usually use for that? If you found it useful, please give it a like so I can get it out to more people. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you have any requests for tutorials, be sure to ask those in the uh, comments down below so I can start working on those videos. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon for more videos.